Hello, my name is Michael Pravica. I'm an Associate Professor of Physics at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. My specialty of expertise is, is, is high pressure physics, and I wanted to offer you some insight into the BP oil crisis, of which I'm extremely concerned. Um, so we live in a world of pressure, which is just force per unit area. At atmosphere, which is atmospheric pressure, uh, in other words, sea level, it's at about 14.7 pounds per square inch is the value. Inside the Gulf, at the bottom of the, uh, the Gulf, in fact, it's at approximately 160 uh, atmospheres or 2,400 pounds per square inch. That's common pressures that you might find inside a gas cylinder such as this, about two to 3,000 PSI. So what uh, in the deep water horizon uh, catastrophe, the, a hole had been drilled through the lithosphere, which I estimate it can vary uh, depending on where in the crust you are, but very, it's usually something like basalt, which is about three times the density of water. They drilled the hole through, and to get to the oil reservoir about 30,000 feet below, and this bottom, the bottom of the, uh, the, uh, the gulf here is about 5,000 feet. So here, this pressure I estimate based on the, basically it's, it's dependent on the weight of what's above you. Uh, so it was about 24,000 pounds per square inch. And then when it gets to the top, there's the weight of the oil that's flowing up that partially lowers this value up here. And I estimate that, it, it's, that at about here, it's rushing out at about 17,000 pounds per square inch. So in the case of the, the, uh, the BP Deepwater Horizon explosion, they had set up some uh, concrete plugs. And the concrete plugs basically were there to hold pressure while they were uh, drilling. And then they had their blowout preventer at the top. And the blowout preventer's aim was essentially to act as a check valve that prevents, if there were a sudden rush of, of pressure, prevents the flow. Uh, but of course, the important ingredient was that there would be concrete plugs to protect it as well, to reduce the, the pressure. And so the plugs failed, and then the methane leaked out. This failed uh, as well, so a combination of failures. And the, bl the blowout preventer failed, and then methane gas rose above. Uh, it's lighter, less dense in water, so it rose and then an explosion ensued on the platform. Um, and as I understand it, the blowout preventer is pretty, it's an impressive piece of machinery. It's a, about uh, 450 tons. It's about uh, 48 feet uh, tall. So that's like a four-story building. And um, there's, it's sort of enmeshed in a layer of, of seafloor mud, muck, if you will. And then there's the harder basalt or or uh, other hard rock uh, at the bottom of the seafloor, and that's where the well was drilled in. So the blowout preventer is, again, a check valve, something to prevent a sudden release of pressure from the interior, uh, which, as I said, is at uh, 24,000 PSI down here. So BP, uh, in my opinion, has been trying to preserve this blowout preventer, and so all the solutions have been related to that. So I thought I would just demonstrate a little bit of some of what BP was doing and show you uh, where there were uh, problems. So in the first, uh, one of the first solutions was to take, well, first of all, they tried to put something like a house, a four-story house above the blow, blowout preventer. But as we know, that failed because there were crystals uh, that were formed under high pressure and lower temperature conditions that blocked the flow of oil. Then BP tried a siphoning approach where they took a smaller tube. So this might represent, this might represent the oil. It's water in this case. And this would be the high pressure oil. And then it's flowing out into the seafloor. And sort of the pipe was sort of up, but then kind of to the side if you looked at any of the pictures on the videos. So if I take a tube and I smaller tube and I place it inside you can see I do I do siphon a little bit as long as I don't sque uh, squeeze the tube which I'm doing now but you can see there is a little bit of water that flows let me fix this you 
Okay, so there is uh, water that was being siphoned to the, or to the surface of the water above where the ships were. And okay, like that. But you can see, right, so here's the water up here that's being siphoned out, or the oil. Here's the oil in the leak. Really haven't done much to it, okay? Um, and as I said, the, the oil is gushing here, I estimate, at about 17,000 pounds per square inch. If you put your hand there, that might take it off. That's the kind of force uh, pressure that's coming out of there. It's very, very strong. And the oil is rushing out at a very fast rate. Okay, so that was one of their solutions. Then they had the top kill solution. The top kill solution was to inject all sorts of concrete, tennis balls, as I recall, uh, rubber, tire, um, some sort of heavy mud. And the problem is that, as you can see, I'm coming out at a pretty high pressure. And I try and force pebbles in. OK, what happens? They're not, unless I have really, like I can do this, I could try and force a big, big pedal. But still, I haven't sealed the leak at all. OK, I may slow it. Uh, but even, even this, in this case, because I've restricted the, the, uh, the orifice, the output parts of the pipe, it just goes elsewhere. Not a solution. Okay. Again, here, I'm trying to put in pebbles, and I can't. And so that was a failed solution. Then the recent solution, uh, this just gives you an example, is the, uh, the capture solution. So they're going to put a cap that was some wider, uh, wider diameter than the outer. This inner diameter is wider than, say, the outer diameter of this pipe. Now, if I could get this going fast enough, you would see water coming out here. And that's what we're seeing right now, is some of that water, uh, if they can uh, try and getting it out. But look at what happens. Most of the water is just coming out right through here. Okay, So the cap will capture a little bit of your oil, water in this case. But the problem is that, again, here it's not a seal. Okay, It's not a permanent solution. It's just a temporary solution. Okay.